had some partner in Botswana and another partner in Zambia. So we were just the three of us uh, who are trying to come up with uh, a, a few projects in Zambia here. So this is a situation whereby you've lost one of the biggest projects, the one you're expecting uh, a good amount of money, uh, not knowing that God had, had something in store for me, something that I was going to change my life, uh, which is uh, by giving me a chance to get selected by DV Rotary System. Remember, we're coming <clears throat> from a situation where I've applied twice and I've not been selected. So you can imagine uh, you're applying not knowing that you get selected. It's just a purpose. Okay, let me just try to apply because uh, you never know what life has in store for you. So, the very moment that results came out and uh, we're trying to check, we check for the results between me and my partner and then discovered and say, I've won. I can, I, I can, I can, I can tell you it was uh, the happiest moment of my life. Uh, I didn't even know the, the time I got to kneel down and play to thank God what He has done for me. It, it was so wonderful. It was uh, so emotional. You can imagine how you, I felt. I could feel my hair. I don't know if I can say standing. I can just feel my, my blood running and, and uh, feeling that happening to say, oh, God is a God of wonders. It, it was very, very much emotional. And uh, I, I, I didn't see how I even ended up dropping tears. I was very, very happy. So now, I could not believe that I've won for the next one month. I, to, to me, it was it, it, it seemed like it, it was a dream. <laughs> it was a, uh, this is a situation where by just trying it now, you start imagining to say, oh, I'm, I'm going to live for the States. I'm going to, to go and live in the States. We've watched a lot of uh, movies, films, uh, videos, musicians, and we've, we've done our own search using Google. And we've seen how America looks. Now imagine uh, someone just from the village. You, you now imagine, say, oh, I'm going to be living in the state. I'm going to be a permanent resident. This is a situation where you imagine, you say, oh, so my kids will obtain the best education in the world. This is a situation where you now imagine, so let's say, I had some business ideas. And now that I'm going to have enough capital to inject back home, meaning all my businesses, uh, all these business ideas I've been having, at least I'll be able to make capital for them and invest back home. I, I can't express on how I felt. It was such a great moment for me and my partner. It was it was just too much for me to comprehend. Up to day, I still kneel down and thank God. Say, God, be a wonderful God. Uh, I'm here to tell you to say, never should you despise humble beginning and just believe in God. At so at His one appointed time, God is going to give you something that you truly deserve. Never just give up, and always believe it. Say. God is going to give you what you truly deserve. So now, I have won. I don't have any money. And I'm now trying to work on the necessary document that I needed for me to be able to, to, to send it to Kentucky Consular Center. You print out the letter. And now you start filling a form called DS260. This is a form that is very much involving and you don't need to rush in filling it. You just need to take your time to gather all the necessary information that you need. 
this form contains information like uh, your education credentials, your work experience. So now you go on the same site where you start filling the form called DS260. You put all the necessary information. Like I said, you can even be feeling like you, you fill this part and uh, you save it. Uh, While you are gathering more information that you need to fill in the DS260. Don't rush because uh, it's not good whereby you send this information, you send this form, and then later on you request the, uh, the Kentucky Coastal Center to... <coughs> To reopen your DSO six so that you can make some amendments in your information. Mm. I'm talking from experience because uh, <coughs> after filling this <coughs> DSO sixty, I had to submit. Then after submitting, I realized to say, okay, I've made some mistakes and I need this. Uh, I need this. Uh, I need to request for them to unlock my DSO six so that I can change some information and. Uh, you know we're a human being and uh, when you send it, you, you start waiting and the, just that time of waiting, it, it takes too much long for you to receive because you're you patiently waiting for them to unlock so that you can make amendments. Uh, after filling it, I, I, I submitted it and then uh, after two, two or three months, I realized that I had uh, omitted some information and there are some information that I needed to change. So I had to recall, recall it back, or maybe uh, ask the Kentucky Constitution Center to unlock my DS260. So I waited for like four weeks to, to, to six weeks. And then I was lucky. They unlocked my DS260. I changed some information I needed to change, then I, I submitted. So my appeal to you is, uh, please, never should you be in a hurry to fill in the DS-260 because you, you're likely to make a lot of mistakes. And once you submit, especially for those with the high case numbers, there are lower case numbers and high case numbers. So you find that if you vote a high case number, meaning the more you delay, the longer you are, you are prolonging your, your time for you to, to receive a, a, a a requisition for a document and once you delay meaning you are likely to do your interview between maybe just before october when they receive new applicants so you might not be able to to do the interviews because you'll have uh, prolonged your time for you to get an interview so <clears throat> normally the results comes out in, in in may meaning you've got enough time for you to fill the gs260 from may up to summer october <clears throat> So within this time, gather enough information. Make sure you go through to watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, so that you are guided on how to, to fill this form. You, 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 you shouldn't be in a hurry because the moment you make mistakes, you are prolonging your time for you to, 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 to go for the interview. So take your time, watch a lot of video, read a lot of information. <clears throat> there are guys who are very much willing to help you. For instance, uh, people like EBM scholars, Chico Hop, uh, there are people like uh, AC Wakago, and many other YouTubers from Kenya who are based in America, who went to America through the same uh, green card. So <clears throat> these guys, most of the times, they, 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 they do live streaming. So you can subscribe to their channel, and uh, once they are, they are doing live streaming, you are, you are free to ask questions on where you don't understand, and they are, they are more than willing to help you. I've, 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 I've felt my DS260 through guys like EBM scholars. Uh, sometimes I, 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 I talk to Shiko Hop where I'm guided on what I need to fill it and the information where I, I, I don't really understand, I get help from those guys. So take your time in filling this form so that uh, you are guided properly and you won't make any mistake. And once you submit, <coughs> you have now to wait for them to request you the document that uh, they, they need but meantime after filling the gs 260 you need to process some some documents like the uh, police clearance police clearance uh document you there are some some of us who are born at the village you need to work on uh, the birth certificate 
uh, if your marriage you need to work on the marriage certificate there are people who have been married through traditional marriage you need to go to the civic centers uh, so that you, 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 you get uh, the document that shows that uh, the, your marriage is legal so you need all that that, that information among other documents uh, I, I mentioned over the birth certificate the clear, police clearance form and, and the marriage certificate there are those who have lived maybe uh, six months you lived in another country you also need to get a clearance from from that other from police clearance certificate from that country where you live for more than six months so you need all this information meaning this period that uh, you, you are you 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 are filling the the, the gs260 form you are also working on on, on acquiring this document because the moment you you submit your gs260 uh, those guys will request for for these documents and uh once you have this document, you'll have you'll have done your background check so that you have all these uh, documents in place. Yeah, and then you are able to also submit this information, this these documents. Once you submit, you now wait for them to to send you for an interview. But you go before you go for an interview, you have to they they will guide you on on the people who are responsible to do some medicals on you. Like in my case, in my country, they, those people who get uh, the immigration visas, they get. Uh, these medicals are uh, uh, from Lusaka Trust Hospital uh, with uh, specialized doctors who are in charge of you guys who are supposed to get these visas. So after now filling uh, this to just to sixty, you send those information and uh, you just wait for them. Uh, there is a way you have to save uh, your, your your documents. I think in one of the videos I'm going to show you on how to save this document. Uh, the next video I'm going to guide you on how to save this document so that when you're sending them they, they, they go and they go reach to the right people who are in charge of uh, these, these documents so now here i am uh after now winning i go through another stage where i have to fill a form uh this gs260 uh waiting for them to request these documents so that's the stage now where i am i'm I'm waiting for these guys to request these documents of which all these documents I've already obtained. I'm just waiting for them to say, okay, we need such and such a document. Then I'm, I'm going to send them via email. So this is the stage where I, I am right now. And uh, I would like you people to ask you to say, please keep on subscribe to my, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also hit the notification bell so that once I upload a new video, you will receive a notification. You can also hit the like button and tell other, others about this channel. Uh, I really appreciate for your support and I'm looking forward to, to get more questions from you and I will be able to respond to you in my inbox. Uh, if anything, once I'm live, I, we can always uh, chat and I can always drop my WhatsApp line so that I can guide you where you need help. Thank you so much, people. I love you.